M7 by Yves Saint Laurent. It's one of the most um, elegant perfume for a man. He also created Summer by Kenzo and Pleasures by Estée Lauder. I mean, most of the perfumes he created are sources of inspiration for young perfumers and for the industry still now. Max and Sons Parfum is here to help you feel and smell your absolute best. If you are new in this channel, don't forget to like, leave a comment, subscribe, and smash that bell button to keep you updated. Let's get started. This is uh, the new prototype, you know. Smell uh, orange flower. Every fashion house has uh, a style. When we work for the fresh perfume for Saint Laurent, it's not the same style when you work fresh for Calvin Klein, because it's the two background different. This is pepper from the Sichuan, from China. It's very fresh and spicy. Fashion, it's uh, every six months it changes the style, but when you create a perfume for the Yves Saint Laurent, you need to take care of all the background of the company and you need to imagine all this style in one perfume. <laughs> it's very difficult. It's benjoin. It's a very important. In the bad opium, it's very important the benjoin. It's very sweet. It's very old. Uh, you have in my job, I have very bad side. It's sometimes the customer. <laughs> no, the customer I like, but when they don't understand, it's very hard because my job is not just to win. For me, sometimes I'm a little bit upset because for me, it's very important to, to make a nice perfume before to sell the perfume. This is just to make nice to the sculpture with the very important ingredients, basic ingredient. You have the vetiver, is this, pink pepper, coffee, of course. Here you have white pepper, and you finish with iris, the most expensive product in the, in the world, in the perfume world. Among the perfumes that he made, some of my favorites are M7 by Yves Saint Laurent. It's one of the most um, elegant perfume for a man. He also created Summer by Kenzo and Pleasures by Estée Lauder. I mean, most of the perfumes he created are sources of inspiration for young perfumers and for the industry still now. And you know, you see Belle d'Opium. <laughs> when I see all this creation, I'm, I feel very proud, you know. You know, it's not so to make dreams. You know, this is my also. I'm very proud about uh, maybe the CK1 voilà. because CK1 is my dream, and immediately the world understand, and everybody in the world know CK1 from Calvin Klein. This is a, I'm very proud when people tell me, oh, tell me the you are perfumer, tell me one perfume you made at. A, 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 Calvin Klein, CK1. Everybody, ah, it's my first perfume I try. Oh, it's my daughter-in-law, she tried this one, you know? And when you smell, still very fresh and very, very modern, you know? No, it's a bad I'm sorry. Where my assistant? Oh my God! All the time. Uh, c'est ici? Ah, mais c'est là, je vous fais reconnaître. Okay, don't recognize my assistant. Okay, this is my place. <laughs> all this, it's my collection, and all this is the, the prototype. You know, it's easy. We are in Femenich in Paris. This is my uh, laboratory in Paris. I have the same in New York and in Geneva. Mm, this is very good. This is a geranium from China. I like geranium. I decided to become a perfumer when the 40 years ago I read in the Vogue an article about Guerlain because it explained exactly the act of the created perfumes. 
you know, it, it, I don't understand, you need to mix flowers with wood, with many things. I decide, I have immediately the inspiration, I come a perfumer, 21 year old, I decide and arrive to Firmanish. I tell to my boss, Mr. Firmanish, Oh please, I want to become a perfumer. He tell me, oh, but it's impossible. You don't have, a, you don't have the graduate in chemistry. You don't have a background of the perfume. Why do you want to become a perfumer? I think because I, I need. <laughs> and he tell me, okay, try, <laughs> and I'm here. <laughs> it's very fresh and spicy. After when this nice, it, you see all this product. Uh, and you see the formula, very secret. <laughs> I think that um, Alberto Morias, first of all, uh, has to be said as one of the most elegant men in the perfume industry. He's created so many bestsellers, uh, such as CK1 by Kaiser Klein, uh, such as a Flower by Kenzo. Um, yeah, he's, he's very, very big. His works are always very subtle, very delicate, and he brought freshness in so many fragrances that were not meant to be fresh. He's got his own way of doing this, which is very interesting. My creative space. I am addict of this. <laughs> I love to smell. I love to, because all the time is another dream, is a new new book. You know, when I smell one, it's it's the same. If you open the the, the book and you you see you read a story, you know? because for me all the perfume is another story. My job is uh, to create dreams, to create new accords, to to help to come uh, a perfume. The first, when I get up, I smell. I smell my skin because before I go to sleep, I spray some, some perfumes because I want to, to, to smell in, during the night this perfume in my dream. <laughs> it's a little bit... Uh, my wife, she's okay. <laughs> she, because sometimes my dog is not ha very happy. When, when you go to sleep with all this odor, my dog can go out the, the bed immediately. Because you see, my goodness, what is this? This new <laughs> experiment. Now we go to the, to the robot place. <laughs> Bonjour. Bonjour, on va voir le robot. Ok, this is the robot. You, know, you see all the jar in my uh, laboratory. This, you make the heart of the perfume, and my assistant she finished with a small uh, ingredient. And you have the formula come from the, from the from my office. And here you, it's automatic. During the night, it can work. You know. And we make many, many hundred modifications with uh, this type of robot. All the process to create a new perfume, sometimes it's almost two years, from the beginning to the finish process. It's, it's two, two and a half. It's a long, 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 long process <laughs> to, to finish the perfume. In, the, in this job, everything is very, very secret. It's not secret when you see all the products because it's, a, it's very natural, it's very it's simple. But it's when you have the recipe, it's very secret. It's unbelievable, huh? I think that fashion and fragrance go together because fragrance is a statement uh, of style. When you wake up in the morning and you wear perfume, uh, you usually don't pick the same perfume as the one you're going to wear at night and the way you pick your clothes in the morning is the same thing. You're telling yourself a story of who you want to be during that day and with your perfume it's the same. Most of women now have various perfumes, they don't only have one and they're going to use it as a wardrobe uh, of perfumes. So I think that the link between fashion and, and perfume is, uh, is quite clear. Um, it's an accessory of style. This is a, another base, but another product. You know, it's unbelievable. One nice smell. Immediately, I think one moment. Uh, 
and enjoy. Or sometimes I have my heart. Now. It's very <laughs> coming very because not every project is easy. Yeah? I tell you, you have many many uh, dreams in drum. <laughs> it's an <a> opera. <laughs> okay. Now the trend is fruity, fruity, fruity. Everybody want to make fruity perfumes. I'm not very fruity creator. I don't like to. For me, it's too artificial. For me, it's very hard if you somebody tell me, can you make a fruity? Okay, I make a fruity, but very, very elegant fruity, or maybe very uh, natural fruity. I don't like to create artificial, strong, candy, Fruity. Everybody smells the same after when you, you, you walk this type of uh, strong fruity. You tell me I'm very successful. I never think about this. Never. I'm proud, but uh, I never check in the back. I see all the time in the front. Because every day, I want to make a new perfume. Every day I want to try a new experiment. And I, and I don't like to see in the back, because the back, if you see, you don't go out you know, in front. OK, I tell you goodbye. Eh? Hasta la vista. And uh, now I need to go to Madrid to create a new perfume. I hope so. I see you very soon. Bye. <laughs> Ciao. Okay, bye. Thank you for watching. Max and Sons Parfum. If you like this video, share it with your friends. To start smelling absolutely gorgeous, don't forget to like, put any comments regarding your concern in perfumes and fragrances, and we're happy to answer you or do a video for you. Subscribe and hit that bell. For you not to miss any of my contents uploaded every week. See you again next time. Max and Sons Parfum. Even the goddess will fall.